Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you a free tool that you can use to help you improve your writing and also your grammar. If you are learning English and you want to write in English, then it's wise to use a spell checker. However, most spell checkers are very basic. They only give you feedback on words that you misspell. However, the tool I'm going to show you gives you feedback on your writing and it helps you improve your grammar too. And the best way for you to understand how beneficial this tool is, is for me to show you a few examples. Here we are inside the Grammarly app and I'm going to type in three incorrect sentences to show you how Grammarly can give you feedback on incorrect English. So the first one I'm just going to put he have done it, okay? So you probably recognize the mistake, but it's gonna show you how it changes this for you. So we can see over here, it's suggesting to change have to has, and we can click to change the verb form. We can also expand the card, and it gives us information about the mistake. It appears that the subject pronoun he and the verb have are not in agreement consider changing the verb and we can click here and it changes it for us. The next one I'm going to show you is about a preposition. He told to me that he did it. Okay. So we'll see what happens here when I type in this incorrect sentence. What it says, two things, possibly confuse, say and tell. So this, in this case, it's given us a variation. We can change told to me to said to me. And it's also telling us that it's a possibly redundant preposition. It appears that the preposition to may be unnecessary in this context. So you can review the information and decide whether to delete it. And if you click more, then it gives us lots of examples and an explanation about the preposition to. So in this case, um, I'm going to delete the two and have it here. He told me that he did it. And the final one, I'm going to show you a comparison, the first conditional. And this is a mistake I see happen a lot. If we will leave now, we will get there on time. We'll see what happens in this case. So it's just checking and it's gonna give us the issue. And again, it's telling us that we change will leave to leave. Click to remove the modal and we can expand the card and it gives us an explanation. The sentence appears to incorrectly phrase the future real conditional. Consider removing the modal verb will. So we can do that and it does it for us. So these are just three examples of how Grammarly can help. Um, I wanna show you a couple of other things too because it doesn't, only help your grammar and your writing. It can also help you with plagiarism. What this does is it finds unoriginal text by checking against a database of over 8 billion web pages. So if you're writing something that's really important or if you're marking something for your learners, then you can check to see if it's um, plagiarized. There's also vocabulary enhancement as well. This gives you suggestions to help you vary your vocabulary. This is very beneficial as well. And finally here, you can send to a professional to get proofreading. This is obviously a paid thing and this is an add-on if you want to do this, but it's not necessary in most cases. So as you just saw, Grammarly gives you great feedback on your writing, but not only that, it helps you improve your grammar. This is really beneficial. It's going to help you improve your English. And the more you write and the more you use this tool, the better you will get. If you download the browser extension, it works in your email, in social media, and any other application that you use. So it means that you can constantly check your writing, constantly get feedback on your writing using this tool. So click the link to check out Grammarly. There is a free and a paid option available. And please let me know if this tool helps you. And if it does help you, please share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.